in a Volvo C30 T5, so it's a five cylinder turbo, 2.5, and it's called the Polestar. Now, Polestar is Volvo's very sports partner. And for the Polestar package, it will upgrade the engine with an additional 20 brake horsepower, taking it to 250, and that will cost you 645 with an additional 50 newton per meter additional torque. Now, cost is 22,000, and we're going just to see how quick it takes us to 60. So, let's see. Spin. 60. It's a bit of a brute, and uh, the first appearance is you would not detect that this is a very quick car. And okay, we're talking ST, Ford ST, Ford Focus ST uh, engine. With this uh, slight upgrade though makes uh, a difference. The interior is kind of Volvo really, which is a shame. A feature on and off prototype on top gear apparently and uh, a handle body kits and whatnot but I think this is a little bit too restrained looking on the inside. So 80 and uh, a bit of ruffle for the front wheels but uh, Composed to six revs, 2,600 revs out of the 70. Double the brake. There's quite a lot of brake trouble there, I think. Third gear. Now the engine is sweet, but I think the pedals could do with a bit more resistance, give them a bit more of a racing feel. The, the steering wheel. Um, it's, it's large. The benefit is I can see all the clocks, but it does seem a little bit too wider down. So, bumps. I have an independent rear suspension, multi link like uh, Focus. Um, it's not ruffled by that set of tram lines. The steering wheel, it's a slight weights around the centre, as I'm only going straight, there seems to be kind of, uh, a little bit of resistance there. So it's the electrical car, uh, but uh, good to get all the So they've upgraded the engine, but no, can they sell it? Not the... We'll back it up now, so yeah, it's lost lost the steering wheel, that's a bit of a shame. Here are some other right. It is in part supple, but you know it's not wallowing around. I'm feeling the road here. Torque spread is quite even. The sheet that we were given by the PR people shows that. We've got the original red line that shows torque and then you've got the blue line after Polestar have upgraded it giving it that additional brake horsepower see how level it is 